how sweet would it be if there was a tool that could do everything Microsoft Project can, but without all the cost and all the fluff? I found a piece of software that does just that, and we're going to take it for a test drive. Let's go take a look. So the software is called eDraw Proj by Wondershare. Wondershare has a whole suite of apps, everything in the creative realm to the productivity realm. Just a really great company, full, these products that are full of features. And today we're gonna to be looking, like I said, specifically at eDraw Proj. In the description below is the link. So if you click on the link, it's gonna take you to their homepage. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna to come to Diagram and Graphics and click on eDraw Proj. Now this will take you, this is their page specifically for this app. Feel free to look around at some of the other ones. Um, I'm gonna be covering a bunch of their softwares in various videos coming up. As you can see, this software has a lot of great features. And what we're gonna be looking at today is a free version of this. Come up here, we can just click Try It For Free. It works on Mac, Linux, and obviously Windows. So let's talk about some of my favorite features here. The first one is the interface. I really love the fact that it looks a lot like Microsoft Office. The way that the toolbars are, the taskbars are set up, very familiar to anyone who's been working in Office in the last five, 10 years, right? So let's talk about basic project setup. The first thing that you are gonna wanna do is come in here to options. There's a couple little things we can tweak under the general form and that's going to be our date format just little things this this comes out um, on reports and dollars wherever you are in the country you may want to change that so what we're going to do is we're going to go back the next thing you want to do is set up your working hours over here on the home now we can customize and set up a few different things we can change our report color we can put in change your date format here if you'd rather do that major units um, this shows up on the timeline terms of month however granular you want to look at your tasks working days of the week and then you can set your to and from when your working hours are in terms of the calendar pretty much the same thing we saw on the last tab except here you can set holidays if you wanted to set um, an exception day if you've got a restriction you can set that all right now that we're set up let's add a task now I've added a couple in here previously just to kind of show you what it looks like but if we want to add another one, all we have to do is right click anywhere, say add a task. And we can just call this one final walkthrough. This is a mock house renovation project. You set your dates, right? Change the duration. This is gonna take half a day. Now the other cool thing about setting up a task that is kind of neat, you can come over here to the Gantt chart and you can drag your progress bar around to wherever you want to place it, right? So rather than punching in the days, you can move it around to here. And then if you come over and hover over the end, you get the two little arrows and you can drag out the duration, which is really slick. Okay, so let's say you started some work on one of these tasks and you want to split it. So what you do is you highlight the task, you say split task, give you these little arrows and you basically just grab a hold of it and drag it to wherever you want. And now you've got this split task where you've got some work done and then you're not gonna work on it for a while and then you're gonna come back to doing that work a little bit later. Kind of a cool feature. All right, let's talk about setting up resources. So we added this new task and I want someone to work on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to assign resources. I'm going to say edit resource. Now, if you don't have anything in here before, all you'll do is say add a row and you can add in a new resource. So this is going to be John. John's going to do work for us. We can put in how much we're going to pay John, 25 an hour. And you can set up and make these different work groups, which will categorize your laborers or different materials. You can put in their email address and any extra notes that you may have on that person. Say John was only available on Tuesdays, right? You can add that note in here. So we'll say, okay. And then what we can do is when we come back over here, we can just click on John, we can highlight him and he shows up in our resource column. 
The next thing you may want to do is you may want to add a new column. So if you open up this pane here a little bit, you can right click next to this, we'll say manage column. And now we have all of these different categories, different columns we can add, right? We can look at costs, we can look at early finish, late start, different things like that, critical path. Okay, we can add all kinds of cool things. All right, so now we want to link this task. So the final walkthrough, we're going to highlight that. We're going to hold control. And we're going to click on the task we want to link it with. And then up here in the toolbar, we're just going to simply say link. And you can see there it made us our predecessor successor relationship. We can look at that right here on the right hand side. We have our link tab and it will show us what the predecessors are and if there's any successors. You can add in, here's where we can add in our lag if we wanted to add, you know, say three days need to happen, we need to let the paint dry before the do our final walkthrough. All right, so now we want to show some progress on this. There's a couple different ways you can do that. Again, with the click and drag method, if we click on the task and we hover on the right side here, you can drag that up and show progress. Now this isn't super accurate. You can see the progress bar kind of goes at a wonky interval, um, but if you need to refine it, you can click on the progress here and we change that. All right, let's talk a little bit about reporting. If you come over to the view tab, we have a bunch of different reports that are built in. We have critical tasks, delayed, right, behind. We have resource cost. So we have a few different um, reports we can look at. Task allocation, right, these are pretty cool. The one thing Project has that Wondershare doesn't is the ability to make custom reports. And so this is one feature um, of the free version that you don't get. But again, I mean, you've got all these great reports built in that is enough for the the average user for sure. So some of the pros, um, definitely, obviously we talked about the interface. I love how intuitive the software is to use. Um, you're not overwhelmed by a million buttons and huge task bars with all kinds of things to figure out. You can um, customize your theme a little bit. So if you've got multiple projects going on here, so if you wanted to change your theme um, on a particular item, click on the little paintbrush and we can change the color, which is kind of cool. It's neat if you have multiple projects going and you wanted to distinguish between them just visually. You can also change the color of the connector. Um, that will change so it stands out. Cons, obviously uh, the reporting is kind of a big deal. You know, the fact that you can't customize the report to get exactly the data that you need. The other big downside is the linking. So here we can only do a finish to start relationship. In project, you have the ability to change that around from a finish to finish, or we don't have that customization in this. But again, for most of the projects out there, this is going to get you plenty of horsepower to get your project going and organized and running smoothly. And then the other thing that the particular this particular application doesn't have is going to be notifications for teams. Project does have their project for the web and you can have your all your teams on there and get give them notifications. I know monday.com and some of the other ones have that as well. So this application is gonna be really geared towards projects you're setting up for yourself or maybe a small business and everyone's kind of working off of the same file, that kind of a thing. So as far as that goes though, when you look at the cost um, of this tool, it's highly capable for a huge project for handling all a lot of data and organizing things to be clear to report out if you need to check it out in the link and drop a question drop a comment and thanks for watching